All right, so this is the REI Grand Hut 4, four-person tent. I got it for our family camping adventures. This is it without the rain fly. You can see it's really, really tall, big tent. Very simple floor plan. Just a big glorified dome tent. But I can get all the way in here and it's still overhead, right? I have complete stand-up room in the middle of this. Bathtub style floor. Camped in it a couple of times, have not had uh, rain in it yet, but it has been um, dry from every other, I guess it wouldn't be wet if it wasn't raining, but it's been good so far. All the other tents that I've had that were REI tents were really good about lasting a long time and this is it grand hut four i've got the footprint below it and it looks like it shifted a little sideways but we'll get that squared away grand hut four has a couple of cool features one the grommets on the footprint connect in with the tent pole and then it has a uh, quick clip for the tarp it's got this red section on it and the red section on the pole so you know which ones go together. And then the tarp has the same red side so you know which side it goes on so your doors don't get crossed up. All right, here's the Grand Hut 4 with the tarp on. It's not supposed to rain tonight, but I'm always that guy that always puts the tarp on, always puts the rain fall on. But you can see it's got a really good vestibule because you can get inside a lot of gear storage boot storage outside would give you a little area to hang out if you needed to it's got a door and a vestibule on each side so you can see way out here gives you a lot of space on the back it's a massive tent easily the biggest tent that i've ever owned but for a family of three that uh like to move around when we sleep hopefully this will give us enough space i've slept in it before with just my son and he's pretty small and uh and we do fine but tonight it'll be my wife my son and myself so wish us luck and we'll do a uh, check-in in the morning after we sleep in it just to let everybody know how we fared and how the tent held up but uh i'm very optimistic All right, this is the uh, Grand Hut 4 the next day. Uh, all three of us slept in there comfortably. I set up my little guy in the middle and uh, we put him to bed at like 9.30, something like that. He stayed up a little bit late because he slept while we were coming to the beach. But I was able to sneak in and I slept right by the door. My wife snuck in and uh, came around over us uh, to get to the far side, even though she could have used the other door. It's right up against some brush behind us. so. Moving around us, being the third person in, going all the way to the back, she didn't disturb us, didn't wake anybody up, and we all slept pretty comfortably, especially considering um, how much the little guy in the middle moved around. We had a lot of space, and I wasn't like up against the side of the tent or anything like that. It's 12 pounds. It's a heavy tent. Uh, it wouldn't be great to uh, like hike in or backpack in, but it's not meant for that. It's a great car camping tent and uh, we think we're going to get a lot of use out of it so if you're considering a tent for a small family maybe even a slightly bigger family it held us all of our gear very very easily the rei grand hut 4 was a great purchase and we look forward to taking it out on a lot of excursions soon all right my friends stay tuned and for more content like this make sure you like and subscribe to the video and until we see you ninja every day